the eternal struggle continues. We've got lots of new Turkish peoples to try and convert to our banners. Let's see what's going on in the rest of the world. Looks like England's in a civil war. Uh, they're trying to depose the current ruler of England. Where's, uh, oh, Scotland is people, are, are, is who has a hold in Ireland, along with uh, the English. Turning our eyes to France, they're still having a civil war going down. Quite the civil war. I can press ducanal claims against uh, the Galich, but I'm not going to do that. I'm hoping... Oh no, like another tiny peasant revolt. Well, that's unfortunate. What is this? His new, uh... Okay, well I'm waiting for them to end their war. Hey, thanks Denmark for going and dealing with that peasant revolt for me. That was really nice of you guys. <sighs> Who's gonna revolt now? This guy? Well, here's some money. Oh wow, sweet, that's awesome! She brought that territory right under my right under my banner. Man, I wish I could you know, marry this chick. He's married to my half brother. Still, wow, what a what a what a classy lady. Oh, the Bulgars are almost nothing more. So look, yet another revolt is happening. Hopefully, once when the Cumans are engaged in another epic civil war, oh, that'll. Be the end of that. Oh, that's that's it. The the Bulgars are pretty much gone. The only thing that they have left is the one territory that I think is not part of our kingdom du jour. Yep. certainly gain a lot of territory. We still haven't ma managed to gain the one province we wanted back yet. Hopefully, one of these days, they'll complete a successful revolt. But now that brings us our, our border rubbing right together with the, uh, the Kumans. How we're in a war? You bet, you, you bet I think I could take them. Am I still on a truce with these guys? I'm tempted to just raise my own army and go and deal with them. Yeah, we're still in a truce, so I can't declare war on them for quite some time. So, it's not something to worry about right now. Hey, how about that? Now finally this area can also start uh, raising troops. What's this? Blah, blah, blah has requested that a lower rank vessel should serve... Whatever. He's got a point. <sighs> Discover a plot. Wow. My son is gonna try and betray me. 
you end my you end that plot son I'm giving I'm gonna give you a stern warning a very stern warning there we go I, I knew you'd hear I knew you'd heed my calls who is this this guy this guy's been nothing but trouble uh oh well I just gave I just gave him a bunch of money for no reason. Uh, I don't have any titles to grant him. Oh well, if he declares war, I should be able to crush him fairly quickly. God, just a blood. It's like a constant civil war going on right now, never ending. He can you guys, one of these days, hopefully you'll just, it'll just be over. Where is he leading troops? I spy my planning retribution against Duke assignment for attempting... Sure, whatever. Whoops. Well, we just lost a bunch of piety. But I die knowing who murdered me. No! Alright. Well, someone killed me. But that's okay. Long live the king! King Nikita the first. All right. So let's uh set things right here. So who might revolt? Let's let, let's deal with these people. You are angry. Uh, I guess I can give you a title. What do you want? Yes, you can have that. I don't I have no use for it. I just die. I'll grant you the land a title of Yes, you can have that. I still have several people who may revolt. Let's do what I can to diminish that, although... Send you some money. And uh, send you some money. grant you this title well, I've definitely decreased uh, his likelihood of revolting oh there we go looks like finally one of the random territories is going to try and declare its independence from the Cumans so come on peasant revolt this is your time this is your time to shine I got it. 
So my uncle, who was a pretender to the throne, is likely to revolt. I'm hoping that he won't have enough uh, support to actually do anything and, and you know win. Theoretically, I can hold a grand tournament. Let's hold a grand tournament. Yay for grand tournament! And he's got. I've got to pick an ambition for this guy. Um, you can. You can amass wealth. That's what you're gonna do. Isn't that such a great ambition? So thankfully, the session was handled rel relatively smoothly. Uh, depending on what my uncle's gonna do, though. How old am I? Twenty. So we're all set for yet another long-lasting reign. We spent uh, a lot of money bribing off everybody. So many troops can we ra raise? Oh, not that many. That's not good in times of war. It will not be good at all. So how much... Uh... Yep, definitely can't raise crown authority anymore. So we're going to have to deal with the fact that I think most of our vassals are not super stoked about us. Though none of them to the point of actually declaring war it would look like. Besides this guy who's still in prison. Whatever happened to Biggest Dickus? Where'd it go? Was it, wasn't one of his siblings Biggest Dickus? There he is. Still has Olga Biggest Ivana. He's got some territory, he's got some land. All to himself. Oh, good, son. Um, people wanted me to start naming these people. Or, uh, you know, they, they started wanting me to, to uh, name their kids and someone suggested uh, I named them after people, you know, after, uh, on the forums. So, uh, I don't know who, who will be our first, uh, let's, let's, uh, go with, uh, Romulus, who's a member of the forums, and also I felt bad because, uh, you know, we needed new moderators on the forums, and, uh, he wanted to be one. But I chose one of our other tribunes uh, over him, so then I felt really bad about it that I wasn't able to give anything to Romulus. Poor Romulus. So there we go. You now have uh, King uh, Nikita's son. His first son is now named after you. Actually, never mind. It's his second son. So, you probably won't be the king anyway, so there will be no King Romulus, unless our first son dies. So, uh... Don't get any ideas, though. Come on, Peasant Revolt! Slowly but surely, we're converting people to the Orthodox faith. Hey! The wife's pregnant again! 
That's good news. So the first couple of years of our reign have gone pretty well. Man, I'm, I'm still waiting for this war to be over because I want to uh, get them sworn in as vassals. Looks like, uh, the holy war for what's left of the Bulgars is just about over. Back our plot for institute for to institute elective monarchy in Galich. Do I want to do that? Oh, looks I've got another son. Um, we want to name this person after. Let's name this guy after former member Iron Shin. Holy crap. Let's accept. I've decided I'm going to accept his plot to institute elective monarchy in Galich. Mainly because um, that would probably help me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Are these, are these new territories? Oh, sweet. He's still not going to accept vassalization. I didn't. I thought these guys. I didn't know these guys were actually new independent territory. I thought they were still uh, in some kind of civil war. But that's good news. That's fantastic news, actually. That we're able to. gain new territory into our land. So I, I've got to keep looking at these important decisions I can I can institute. To try and uh, I notice that I can increase my vassal's opinion of me by uh, I, yeah, I can increase my vassal's opinions by me, uh, of me by going through these motions and having these types of events. So hopefully, over time, it can build our... Too long you have uh, not given me my right to the brother to the Duchessy of Rostov. You know what? You can have it. Oh, there goes my uncle declaring war. Actually, now now I wish I hadn't given him Rostov. Oh well, that just means any new territory which I acquire will become part of my own uh, army. So, uh, good old Uncle Claudius has declared war. So, let's, it's time to mobilize the men. Wow, okay, I don't know how we suddenly got 
3,000 Gaelic troops marching around uh, our territory, but that's not good news. Okay, this is probably actually definitely not the best time. For this, so let's try and gather together what we can. Okay, so this is not looking good. All of a sudden. Well, uh, can we, can we, you know, uh, do a whole white piece thing here? Well, actually, we'll probably be able to pull through here. Once we're able to at least gather everybody up into large contingents of troops. Send the mercenaries to siege this area. Okay, well, I'm going to deal with those peasants first. So I'm fighting like a crazy multi-front war. So we're gonna have to pull these Ben back and have them attack uh, somewhere else. This will be the first test of our new king. And if he can pass this, well, then he can pass just about anything. Why are the Danes fighting in our territory?
Well, uh, now at least I'm known as the Just. shouldn't have backed that plot. That was a bad idea. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Besides, uh, finish what we started here. However, I don't think our, our enemies, uh, and by enemy, well, the vassal enemies, are going to have enough to actually um, going to be having have enough to actually start sieging and taking castles. And I think all that really matters is I take out my uncle so I'm gonna send uh, my armies up there to deal with him I think that hopefully if I can take him out I can really uh, just end this entire war because all that he has is this one territory Also, my own vassals are fighting my other vassals, and by fighting them, I mean occasionally during their endless civil wars, blundering in to uh, an army that might be allied against me. But at least I'll take some of these territories that I've lost. Well, actually, I haven't really lost any territories, I just gave up some of them. Alright guys, you keep blundering. Sooner or later you'll blunder into uh, enough enemies that we'll be able to stop this entire war. I thought instituting elective monarchy would actually, you know, help in the long run. Oh good. At least during, uh, you know, during uh, this war for our survival, I still had time to make my wife pregnant. That's good news. So I'm hoping that very soon... Uh, whoops. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, apparently I still can't enforce my demands against her for whatever reason. But, uh...
Okay. So it looks like we've lost control. Over some of our own territories. So let's uh, take what we have. And march against our... March against our enemies and take back those territories that we have lost. Well, I'm too lazy to sit and actually find a new name for my, uh, well, I'm not too lazy, I'm just far too distracted to actually sit and, you know, rename my new son, so, because we have to deal with these, these wars. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. So if we retake that territory, we're gonna retake this territory. And hopefully I can quickly and easily retake all the territories that my vassals have taken and bring an end to this silly civil war and then reorganize and finish off the Galich who are running rampant. God, there's just so many different like random armies here, it's making my head spin. Speed things up. 